Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fang RC back here again with another video, short but informative. So, without further delay, here we go. And first, let me say, first and foremost, let me say this before I start this video that I want to give a big, I want to give a big shout out to big respect. And a big thank you. So, shout out, respect, and thank you to all my subscribers, to all the people that support me, that support my channel. Please continue doing so. All right? And I will continue to drop good, informative, and cool videos. All right? So, here we go. Um, so, today I went to one of my local hobby store and I cop this bad boy right here okay I'm trying to cover it up well I guess pretty much you've seen it already and for like real RC people they pretty much I would say you know what's in this box because it's like a standard kind of black covered in plastic indicative to a certain particular brand that comes this way so hardcore RC people know what's in here but let me kind of I have a little mystery to it. If you didn't check it out before, I put my hands over it. But anyway, so today I went and caught this bad boy right here. It is a ESC one fifth scale. Let me say it again. It's a ESC a one fifth scale ESC combo. All right. So without further ado, let me. There it is. It is the Hobby Wing. Easy run, max five. Okay, that's the info right there, price and info. And you can see the price is the internet price. Oh, you know what? I should have got my... Okay, I was say I was gonna get my computer here so I can turn it on and show you some of the prices out there. The most I've seen this uh, going for online is uh, I was looking at it today it was five hundred and um what was it I think it was five hundred and sixty something dollars but these set can range from anywhere from I would say the lowest maybe I've seen them on uh, what was it Band Good is it Band Good Band Good this Asian company but you know when you order from them I think I seen it for like one thirty if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but when you order from them are one 130 or 130 something but when you order from Banggood it take forever to come take weeks um, and another one called um, ah, what's the name of the name I forgot the name but it's an Asian company you know it's from from China it come from China it would take weeks to get so I prefer to spend extra money a couple of dollars and just get it so 344 that's the average internet price but I've seen them gone as I said today. I was looking at it before I purchased this one. Uh, up to five, I think it was five sixty something like that. So basically, as I said, internet price can range from this price, which is three thirty four ninety nine. Is it ninety nine? Yeah, three thirty. Um, I mean, my bad. Three forty four ninety nine, up to over five hundred dollars. I've seen them for like for this price online, a little bit more. Also, I've seen them for four, four plus. And the most I've seen them for this combo right here is like I think it was five sixty, and I was looking at it today. I wish I had my computer here with me; I could just show you the prices. But they can get pricey depends on where you what where you buy, what company, what outlet you buy from. Okay. So anyway, I got this. Uh, you know, as I said before, the internet price. So so goodbye. All right. So let me open this bag right here. So this is the Hobby Wing, as I said before, Easy Run Max 5. Um, what's the ES in this? Is it, is it 200 amp or, I know it's not 300 amp, I think it's 200 amps. The ESC, and I know it's 800 KB. Yeah, it's not here, but it, it should be on inside. Okay. Let me show you again in case you guys didn't get it. So that's a price and uh, 
the numbers and all that, okay? All right, and as I said before, I got this one from my, one of, one of my local, one off my local hobby shop, and uh, can get the numbers better here, information, okay? All right, so this is the Easy Run Max 5 Combo. Now, this one now going to go into my, uh, into the Creighton, my armor Creighton. And I will show the Creighton too after I do my little unboxing here, okay? So this is it right here. All nice and pretty. See that? Let me bring it up a little bit closer for you. I don't want to drop it, damage it. See? For all you RC guys, you know what's this. But for a lot of people, because there's people out there still kind of new into the old RC world, so. Oh, it says two inch lamp then. The ESC is two inch lamp. Unlike my, um, unlike my Beast ZTW, which is three inch lamp. And I saw, yesterday I was looking online and I saw, I, 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 I kind of get sidetracked. I, I saw, I was looking at something online on YouTube. And I saw this channel, this YouTuber, was displaying, I think, was an uh, X Max, but it had a, I don't know if it was a ZTW, but I don't think it was ZT, ZTW. I think it was something else. A 300 amp ESC with something, but I was going to look at it, but I kind of get sidetracked. I didn't look at it, but so, you know, a lot of fifth skill, basically what I'm saying, they're stepping up the game now, you know? So, you know, like power-wise, you know, like from the 8S to 12S and uh, from 200 amp to uh, 300 amp and even 400. But the Albert Wing, easier on Max 5, I would recommend this to anyone. You understand? Because I have, I have this one in my Rampage MT for like almost four years. Uh, just the, um, the Max 5 with the Castle um, 2028 KV. And I'm telling you, they both work together beautifully. Never having a problem. No problem at all. So, and I saw this video on YouTube with a guy, I, I don't remember his name. I would, if I remember his name, I would give him a shout out. But he did a comparison with um, the Abbey Wing with this motor, the Abbey Wing um, 800 kV, this motor, right? And versus the Castle 2028 800 kV motor. Let me show you the back again. So, in case you need to get any numbers from here, just in case you guys, for you who don't know and you're interested, the numbers are there. And you see the prices already before. So, anyway, I was saying that. Um, the guy did a comparison with um, this Max 5 versus the um, the Castle 2028 K, uh, 800 KV. And he it it took it apart and was showing the differences. Now this, from what I see, have a longer shaft. And the bearings behind this right here, behind the, uh, the case right here, this one is bigger. And there's something at the back here too. I think the bearing or something in the back is different. So in a sense, I have the uh, Castle 2028 800KB for years, as, as I said before, and it's awesome. But I love the way this one's set up too. The bigger bearings and some more stuff in here. I don't remember what it was, but it was just doing a comparison. And they're both, they're both great, both awesome, but it was just saying this setup is better internally. So anyway, um, let me open this. So you will see it with me for the first time because I didn't open this one because normally I'm so excited I will open them at the hobby shop, but right? I'm like, you know what? Let me wait till I go home so I can present this to my uh, my audience at the same time I'm seeing it. All right, so here we go. There it is. Well, I'm glad I got another one, but it's not like at first I've seen it because I have it before. As I said before, I have it in my Rampage MT for years, and uh, 
I know how it looks. I know it's beautiful. I know it's big. And I know it's awesome. Awesome. This is a thumbs up. Like two thumbs up. Hope you can see my thumbs, right? All right. So you all know what's this. Uh, let me take it out. This is a Harbor Wing. Easy run. Max 5, baby. So let me show you what comes in the box. Well, did I get an extra wire? Awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, the wire for the, you know, let's just set it up. Okay. To make it in parallel or our series, you can run it in parallel or series, but I always go parallel. All right, you just get a little strap, a little. Don't use these. The only thing. You see these are you gonna use is at the bottom like to stick it on someplace in your car. Don't use these three in tape because from my experience these three in tape they're cheaper and they're no good. Let me show you what I use. Same three in tape, three M, but um thicker and better quality. Okay. This one I use. Alright. The tape itself is a little bit thicker. When I say tape, I mean like the, I don't know, the meat right here, the the um, the um, the thickness of the tape itself. This is thicker and stronger. So I never really use the ones that comes with them, cheap ones. You know what I'm saying? This. I picked this up at a Lowe's. A couple bucks. All right? So use that. Don't use the ones that comes with it. Like I bought some decal for my car, for my outside car, not these cars, my street car. And it came with these. And I put it on my car and like the next day they started to rise rise off the body. They started separate from the body because the tape, cheap, and not strong. So don't use that tape on your car. Use some, oh cool, I get some stickers. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Get me some stickers. Yes, sir. All right, so that's what comes in the stickers, the um, manual, the extra um, eight millimeter wire for the series, to run it in series. All right, you know what I'm saying, right? Oh, parallel season. You know how I get get those two mixed up? One to run parallel, one run series. I look it up later. If not, one of you guys can tell me. But it goes like this, okay? All right, let me just put this aside here. Wow. Nice. All right, let me show you. There it is. For people that never seen this before, never used it before. Pretty big. Oh, now I have this now. Oh, I can compare it with my uh, ZTW. And show you how small this is compared to my ZTW, but... It's not about the ZTW now, it's about the other wing. So let me put it aside and open the monster engine right here. Motor, engine motor, huh? same thing. Tomato, tomato. Okay, how do I open this? I will open this. I push it out. I think I push it out. I don't want to destroy the box yet. Oh, wait. Mm. Oh, wait. Mm, what am I doing here? What am I doing? Hmm. I really don't want to damage the box anymore, but I've done this before, but ah, there you go. I don't remember it. It's been a while. Yep, push it out. This thing is tight. Oh, here she is. Here she is. Yes, sir. That's her right there. It's a beauty. Ain't no beauty. Oh, you know what, though? Something I got to do. When I got my ZTW. Oh, man. This is a huge. Huge, huge a uh, motor, right? But compared to my. Censored, 8 millimeter shaft, 8 millimeter wires. Compared to this, compared to my um, my ZTW, as I said before, Goliath, no, no, David, 
ZGW is Goliath. Well, let me do something, though. Can I at least give you a comparison? Because my ZTW is in the in the X-Max. I can't take it out. I'm not gonna take it out. But before when I did my, if you look, uh, if you guys look on my uh, channel, you see this um, the video I did of the unboxing the ZTW. And I even put it in the installment in the X Max. And when I did an unboxing video, I wait. I did a weighing. I weigh the the motor, and the motor was pretty much four pounds. So let me see how much it's weighed, so we can get a size comparison. Now I'm trying to get all the wires there. Hold on. Okay. Now, so you get an idea how huge. The ZTW is, check this out, wait, look at the, uh, the weight of that, see that, 2 pound, 11 ounces, what, right? the ZTW weighs it's few ounces less. I mean, literally few, very few ounces less than four pounds. So pretty much four pounds. So when I tell you that, ah, damn, if it wasn't in my uh, X Max, I would do a comparison because they look the same. They're the same design, exterior, the same black and uh, and silver, cooler fins right here. Same thing, same design. But the ZTW is <laughs> like twice the size of this, almost. Well, pretty much, I got a scale. 2.11 ounce, 2 pounds, 11 ounce. As I said, the ZTW is about few, maybe like four, five, six ounce, four or five, six ounces and four pounds, so pretty much four pounds. So you see? So this is huge. This is the same size, of, same size as the 20, the Castle 2028, 800 KV motor, same size. All right, so this is huge. The castle is huge, but both of them is nothing compared to the ZTW. But as I said, if it wasn't in my tracks, I would do a comparison. But all I can tell you, look at my video there, the one that I did an unboxing video of with the ZTW combo, and you will see the weight. So the ZTW, as I said before, for the last time, is almost four pounds. This is just a little bit over two pounds, two pounds, ten ounces. So now you can get an idea how bigger the ZTW is. When I put the ZTW on the ESC in my uh, Traxxas, it's squat. So that's why you see my last video I dropped off my uh, X-Max of the boost of the suspension because pretty much it was like almost on the ground because the ZTW motor plus the uh, ESC both combined is almost six pounds. You understand? Plus other the aluminum parts I put up there to upgrade and stuff. So. It was squatting. So that's why, the la as I said before, the last videos here I dropped with my X-Max is so beefed up. I have to, well, I would, I, I must beef up the suspension to support the weight, all the weight in it. From, as I said before, from the ESC to the motor, uh, from the upgrades, aluminum upgrades, yeah, it was squatting, you know? So anyway, so there's a reason behind all this madness cool madness though like super cool madness but there's a reason so that's my reason as i said check my videos out you see what i'm saying all right so this is my unboxing feels good though feel heavy i mean honestly it kind of feel more than two pounds but that's what it is let me do it again one more time two pound 11 ounces okay all right, let me wait this too since I'm here. Oh, let me kind of get all the wires in it. Because I know the, um, the Z, I don't remember the exact, but it was one pound, I think nine ounces or something, but it was close to two pounds. It was a couple of ounces less than two pounds. So let me see how much this way. So let me get it off, wait. To be fair, I have to get all the, okay. So you see this now. 16 ounces make one pound. This way, 12 ounces. So now you can get an idea. When I tell you about the ESC, the ZTW ESC, how huge it is, 
larger it is than the uh, uh, the Max 5 because I'm telling you the fan alone on the ZTW is almost the size of this yes yeah, and the old thing um, so you can see a difference from almost 2 pounds to 12 ounces right and the motor from almost 4 pounds is ETW to a little bit over 2 pounds all right let me say it one more time almost 4 pounds is ETW to the max to the uh, to the Abbey wing 800 kb and a little bit over 2 pounds so you you can get an idea of bigger that thing is all right so let me show you what all this goodness going to go in right i told you before but let me show you because you're going to see you're going to see some difference on this uh this Creighton. If you guys follow my channel, right? You come across my channel. If anyone accidentally come across my channel or just checking my channel out, please hit that bell. Well, first, hit the subscription button. Subscribe. Then you hit the bell. Okay? So whenever I drop, whatever content I drop or a video or whatever, you guys get it. Okay? So, saying all that now is, I'm going to say this. You will constantly see me, constantly see me change, change up my cars and stuff like that. That's the way I am. I always change, change until I get the right thing. I'm like, hmm, I did like, yeah, I'm, I'm always like this. Oh, there's something missing. I can do this. I can try that. I can do something different. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't realize I was, I was still facing down. Sorry about that. I would. Okay, so I was saying before that uh, I constantly changing my uh, my cars, you know, to see, you know, you try things, you try things, try things, but when that when that perfect uh, last last try that you make that that come together that bring everything together like that light bulb will go off and say, you know what, that's it, that's what I'm looking for. So I'm a person like this, always trying things. When it comes to my cars, even my street cars, same thing. Try things, try things, you know? So saying that now is to kind of set up the, the whole scene. What I'm, what I'm about to show you now, because you've seen it before and it was different, but now it's gonna be even more different. And this is what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Let me zoom out. You can see what's that. That is the mighty. Well, now it's a mighty. And now it's a true, true monster truck. It is the Creighton, the armor Creighton. Right? Oh, wait, my phone. Give me a second, give me a second. I'm making a mess on my video here. A real mess. Okay, well, I got some light there now. Yes, sir. All right, let me zoom it a little bit so you can see the Creighton. That's the Creighton right there, baby. That's the Creighton. Now, you will see now, if you see the last video I dropped on my channel there, of the X-Max. Yes, these were the tires on the X-Max. Yes, you are right. You think you said, wow, wasn't those the tires I saw you have in the X-Max? Yes, those are the tires. Those are the Rampage empty tires. And, uh... I put them on the X-Max, but the back tires, the back wheels, and with these on the X-Max, the back wheels on the X-Max was pretty perfect. They were perfect. But the front wheels now, they was have some problems because they have to do some, uh, some little cutting, a little rub down on the front, the front spindle after the X-Max. But it, 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 it fit fine and it rotate but it still don't have a lot of room between okay a lot of uh, oh let me see if you can see you don't have a lot of room between here so the spindle it was a touching uh, originally was touching but I, I i fixed that but then once i do all that rubbing out the cutting out the rubbing out the modification on the front of the x max my turn radius it was affecting it because it was so because this if oh, if I have my okay let me show you so I give you an idea you see how this now this is the Badland MX43 right 
I used this thing like two times. They're pretty brand new. I don't really use them. But anyway, you see how the, the, the diameter here is is bigger? Well, the X -Mac wheel X Max wheels are like this, big with a bigger diameter. But the, look at the difference now with the Rampage. The Rampage is smaller. So for the Creighton, they fit perfectly, 100% perfect. But with the X Max, it was giving me problems. So I say, you know what? Let me take these off. Now, what am I going to do with X Max now? The X Max now that you saw I have online is going to be total different in uh, in a few weeks. Okay, so let me tell you what's coming for the X Max. The X Max now, I'm going to have the uh, the low C MTXL Monster Claw wheels on the X Max. Yes, you go big or you go home, baby. All right, go big or go home. I got MX-43, I don't use those. I got uh, the um, the original X-Max wheels, I don't use them because they balloon and they're gonna pop and I don't like glue tires. I do not like glue tires. Unless, you know, I don't like glue tires, period. You gotta be, uh, especially for this big monster truck, it gotta be, the best thing to have is beadlock. So you pop a tire, no big deal. Buy a new tire. Take it off, put one on. When you have the glue wheels now, the glue tires, you have to buy the whole thing, which is more money. And no one want no, uh, me personally, I, I, I see most of the people I know, and I, I even when I look on uh, uh, yeah, YouTube, I mean, beadlock is the best thing to go. And if you see one of my videos that I have there, I put a video there, what, I think it was last year, a month ago, about turning your, uh, your, um, your uh, non-belted wheels, like these big wheels, they're not belted. I have a video there, I'll show you how you can turn it into belted wheels. You understand? So, you can check that out too. So anyway, so this is the Creighton, right? And as I said before, now it's in a true monster truck form. You understand? Because not just the tires, but the stands, you can see, is much taller. All right, I got the X Max suspension on it. These are X Max. X Max. What? Well, I'm kind of a tongue tie. X Max suspension. These are not the uh, armor suspension. Armor suspension. They're weak, and they're designed to keep it low, like a truckie, a stadium buggy, like a huge stadium buggy truckie. You understand? Because before it was low, and the wheels that was like basically. Like the, at the lever right here. But now, it stand up like a beast. You understand? See that? Firm but flexible. So, it's a true, more indicative to a, let me go to the side, you can see, to a monster truck. See that? Look at the side, you see how it stand up? All right? I bet you guys never see a, I bet you guys never see a, a Creighton stand up like this, huh? Right? Well, here it is. So, and these are going to be there. All right? I didn't get a fan for this as yet, but I'm going to get a fan. I'm going to get him. The game changer fan, the game changer. A little bit pricey, but I heard good stuff about them. I heard them, they're very powerful, very strong. So I'm going to get one for this and also one for the um, ZTW in my X-Max. All right, guys. So I'm trying to keep this video too long. I hope it wasn't too long, but I also hope you guys will find it informative, okay? And stay tuned for the next video to drop when... These will be in this, and then this will be ripping up the grasses outside, or the street, or the pavement, black top or grass, grass don't matter. I was saying grass, grass, okay, the grass. So black top or grass, it doesn't matter. He can handle it. All right. So guys, thank you for watching. All right, 
and uh, stay tuned. There's more to come. This is Fang RC saying peace. I'll see you later.